In 2016, I anonymously dipped my toes into the political landscape on YouTube. That channel was called Feminazi. Not as in female Nazis, but as in feminists cannot see the reality around them. While digging through the material so that I could gather metadata for posting everything back on YouTube on my current channel, I found this idea, the original idea for the March for Our Lives video done at the end of Feminazi. I found this material and I thought that you would be interested in seeing it as it was and maybe comparing it against what the final product actually was. I was just going to post the original video that I recorded in my backyard with the camera pointed up at the sky for some weird reason, but instead I put a little bit more effort into it and produced a full-blown feminazi graphical video. Here's the original for what it's worth. Enjoy! Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Ooh, you love, can you hear me now? Alright. What has this movie done to me? Somebody please help. Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Gooby love, can you hear me now? Ooh, testing, testing, wham, bam, bam, pow. Gooby love, too. Does it still record while I'm, yeah, I guess? I don't know. Alright. Ooh. Let's walk up. We're gonna do a walk up. Move this out of the way so I don't trip on it and die. Whew. Listen up, America. We need to have a little talk. We need to talk about March for Our Lives. Now, here's the deal March for Our Lives is very poorly named because they're marching for gun control. Now, you may be saying, hey, they're marching for gun control because of the Parkland, Florida school shootings, and the children are tired of being shot up at school. Let's talk about that for a second. Are the children being shot up at school? There are, and I have done my research on this, over 98,000 high schools in the United States of America. At those 98,000 high schools, we see approximately two, two, two shootings per year that are mass shootings, as in more than one fatality. Most of the shootings that aren't mass shootings, of which there are still only maybe 16 a year, most of those shootings either have zero or one fatality. The vast majority of those have zero. <clears throat> there may be some injuries, but when we're talking about mass school shootings, which is what is being protested, they're so rare as to not matter. They're a blip on the radar. They're, they're almost non-existent compared to all the other things that kill kids. <clears throat> Non-shooting homicides and car crashes. The biggest is car crashes. Automotive, that's where the kids get killed. And a lot of them get killed. Tens of thousands of them get killed. But we're worried about school shootings. No, the March for Our Lives is stupid. It is stupid because even the slightest modicum of critical thought would have not led you to go out and march for gun control, for banning assault rifles, for banning large clips. Because guess what? That's not why school shootings happen. Why do school shootings happen? Oh, I'm so glad you asked why school shootings happen, because that's the important part of this whole conversation that isn't being addressed. School shootings happen because people want revenge. The Columbine kids, they were misunderstood. They were the outcasts, and then they got their vengeance. They went out in a blaze of glory. Same thing with all the other school shootings. Someone wanted to make an impactful statement. Someone wanted to say something and make damn sure that you and everyone else in America heard what they said. Now, march for our lives. You've, you've gone from a school shooting that everyone was like, oh, this is a terrible event that happened, to we're gonna send millions of kids out to capitals all over the country to march and to show that we are not happy and we want gun control, which ironically would probably not have stopped any of the school shootings in question because even if they don't get them legally, 
There are plenty of them out there illegally. There are plenty that can be stolen. They have parents with guns. They have relatives with guns. People get guns, and they don't have to get them legally. So your background checks and your gun control and all this other gun stuff isn't going to help solve the problem. You know what will help solving the problem? Not giving them attention. And the wind not blowing in my microphone. You know what will solve the problem? Not giving them the attention that they're craving. Not making a big deal out of it. That will solve the problem. But you just keep on going on, marching on the Capitol, going, we want gun control, even though that's not going to help. You just keep on all over the news, all over the place. All we see, kids marching, kids marching, kids marching. All this attention given to the subject of school shootings. So the misunderstood kid who wants to get attention, who wants to go out in a blaze of glory, now there's an even bigger blaze of glory to go out in. Now they have more of a reason to shoot up the school. Now they have more of a reason to end their pain and end the people who caused it or who they perceive as having caused it by blowing up the school, by shooting up the school. Oh, that's something else. Guess what happens if you ban all the guns? Have you ever heard of a pipe bomb? Do you know what a pipe bomb is? It's where you have a piece of pipe and it's got end caps on it and the pipe is full of gunpowder and there's a fuse at the end and when the fuse runs down to the end, the gunpowder explodes in the metal pipe, sending tiny pieces of metal everywhere with devastating effects. Guess what you can make if you can't buy a firearm? That's right, a pipe bomb. Off the shelf stuff, easy to make. So, if you ban all the guns, they'll just blow stuff up. The people who want to do this will find a way to do it. The problem is, you need to address the root cause of these school shootings. Why are they happening? What can you do about that? Maybe, instead of marching on the Capitol and making complete asses of yourself so you can get out of school for one week straight and not have to do what you're supposed to be doing with your life, maybe, you take that kid who's an outcast, you ask him if he's all right. You ask him if he'd like to sit at your lunch table. You ask him if he'd like to be included and feel like someone actually cares. Or you can just continue to do what you're doing right now. Um, you'll notice, by the way, that after this whole school shooting thing blew up, it didn't take long for someone else to do another one. Isn't that interesting? This is the time where you get to choose your path. Do you choose to make it worse, or do you choose to make it better? Judging by how many of you are in Washington, D.C., making fools of yourself, but hey, you're on vacation. It's only going to get worse. It's the path you chose. If you don't like getting shot up, maybe you should use some critical thinking. Instead of seeing stuff on TV and going, hey, I want to be in that, I want to get some attention. Maybe you should actually do what will solve the problem instead of doing what's cool and hip and trendy and what all your friends are doing. Maybe you should actually do some research of your own. Maybe you should think for yourself. Maybe, just maybe, you should question the things that are fed to you. Go on. Go right now. Go to the internet. Try to look up any dissenting opinion to the march for our lives is great. Try to look up. March for our lives, dumb. March for our lives, stupid. March for our lives, ignorant. March for our lives, not going to help. Look up student walkouts with any of those kind of negative adjectives, those negative opinions. Most of the time, you're only going to find a few little pockets of it that don't really discuss anything, and everything else is going to be positive press. Just because it seems positive in the mass media doesn't mean it's good. You marching causes more school shootings. Mark my words. See if it doesn't happen. And it may not, and I swear to God, I hope it doesn't. But if it does, you may at least be partly to blame. It's your choice. What are you going to do?